Islamic Ministries and Community Development with you here once again for another daily reminder. Our final discussion about masculinity. My dear friends, today we are speaking about Ar Rajula, masculinity. With a variety of modern ideologies, philosophies, and religions competing to define what it means to be a man, it is ever more critically important for Muslim men, parents, and youth to understand masculinity as it was understood by the righteous predecessors. A true Muslim man, as we mentioned in our previous reminders, is one who takes on responsibilities, visits the houses of Allah, truthful in his covenant and believe in Allah, and is firm and never abandoning his deen. At the same time, the true Muslim man is just kind, compassionate, forgiving, hardworking, humble, patient, forbearing, truthful, trustworthy, courageous, soft-hearted, honoring women, controlling his lower desires and impulses, fulfilling the needs of others before himself, continually refining his intellect, improving his character, seeking knowledge as a lifelong learner, avoiding undignified behavior and sinful deeds, and emulating the character prophet and his righteous followers to the best of his ability. Ar Rajula. Masculinity used to be discussed amongst the companions and Tabian regularly. It was reported that Umar ibn al-Khattab, may Allah be pleased with him, said, The foundation of a man is his intellect, his honor is in his religion, and his manhood is in his character. Source, Adab al-Dunya wal-Din 17. The righteous predecessors understood manhood to be comprehensive of all religious virtues in Islam. It was said to Sufyan ibn Uyayna, one of the great Tabi'een, died 107 Hijri. May Allah have mercy on him. All things are derived from the Quran, so where is manhood in it? Sufyan said, In the saying of Allah Almighty, show forgiveness, enjoin good, and turn away from the ignorant. 7199. In this is manhood and masculinity. So true men and lions forgive others. They enjoin the good, and they turn away from the ignorant. As for males and alley cats, then they never forgive others. They always hold grudges. They never enjoin the good. They're silent about falsehood, and they always accompany the ignorant. A real man is known by the measure of his trustworthiness and his refrain from hurting others. In a word, his virtue. Abdullah ibn al-Mubarak reported, Umar ibn al-Khattab, may Allah be pleased with him, said, Do not let yourselves be impressed by the roar of a man. Rather, if he fulfills the trust and restrains himself from harming the honor of people, then he will truly be a man. Source, al zud wal Raqqaiq 681. A true Muslim man is generous and honorable towards the women in his life. His mother, sisters, daughters, aunts, cousins, sisters in Islam, and women in general. The measure of a man's character is directly related to how he treats women. Abu Huraira reported, The Messenger of Allah, peace and blessings be upon him, said, the most complete of the believers in faith are those with the most excellent character, and the best of you are the best in behavior to their women. Source, Sunan al-Tirmidhi, 1162, Grade Sahih. In summary, brothers and sisters in Islam, a true Muslim man is characterized by a balance of all of the virtues taught by Islam. Justice, compassion, forgiveness, kindness, humility, patience, truthfulness, courage, responsibility, chivalry, and so on. The concept of the alpha male as domineering, aggressive, vengeful, thuggish, and strong is a false and a toxic belief that encourages misbehavior in general and the mistreatment of women in particular. On the contrary, truly strong men are those capable of controlling themselves and traversing the higher, straight path of virtue in opposition to the animalistic tendencies of the human soul. May Allah enable all of our young boys to be true Muslim men. May Allah guide all the Muslim males to adopt and start living their lives as masculine Muslim men and to abandon all traits, appearances, behaviors, etiquettes, and traits that are specific and well-known to be feminine. May Allah guide our parents and elders to raise our Muslim boys as a true Muslim men and may their fathers be the best living examples of men for them. If you like this video, please visit us online, share, like, and subscribe to the channel www.imacd.org. If you would like to talk to someone, call us at 240-3-4-7-3774.